Yeah, about 2% of all electricity in this country is solar power, but that number is growing. Yeah, renewable energy, which includes solar, grew more than 4% last year. Vikram Agarwal is the CEO and founder of Energy Sage. He joins us live via Zoom from Boston. Vikram, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Now, as a homeowner, what are some of the benefits of installing solar? Good morning, and thank you for having me. Uh, the benefits of having solar is primarily financial. Uh, solar is helping homeowners reduce their energy bills by a lot. Uh, it's also helping homeowners being more resilient and be ready for any kind of power outages uh, because of storms. And of course, it helps uh, homeowners contribute to the environment. Let's talk about money, though, because uh, people think that this costs the capital cost just to put on your house. It costs a lot of money, but uh, the talk about the cost versus how much money you could save by actually switching to solar. Absolutely. I think there is no doubt solar is a big ticket item. You can spend anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars on the system. But guess what? It will save you a ton of money over the long term. So let's say you're spending one hundred dollars on electricity in a month. Over the next 20 years, that turns out to be over $30,000. So by buying a solar energy system for about $15,000, you're, you're saving more than $15,000 on your energy bills and locking in your prices. And there are various fun, uh, ways to finance solar that allows you to reduce your cost on a monthly basis right away. And so how should you decide if solar is right for you and your home? Because the, the last thing I think people would want is to decide on solar and then realize they're not getting the return on investment that they thought they might get. Yeah, the, the first thing I think the homeowners uh, need to figure out is, is there a place to install solar panels? And the best place is their roof uh, or their backyard. So just walk out of your home, take a look at your roof. Do you have enough space? Call it between three and 500 square feet of space uh, on your roof that is not covered by trees. That's number one. And then go and start getting quotes. Okay, so I just had my roof replaced last year because I had hail damage. How durable are these solar panels? Could they be cracked because you live in an area with thunderstorms that, that drop hail from time to time? No, these are very durable solar. The panels are very durable. They're covered with borosilicate glass that is very, very hard to break. Think about your car's windshield. Uh, how difficult is that to break? Uh, so uh, durability is not an issue at all. Okay, so let's say we've convinced a bunch of people now and they're like, I'm ready to switch. How do I get started? Can you break it down for us? Sure. The first step, and I think the easiest step is go to Energy Sage, sign up, and you'll, you'll get anywhere from three to six quotes. The goal here is because this is a big ticket item, you want to comparison shop. You want to make sure you're buying the right quality of equipment. That is solar panels, and if you're, uh, of course, interested in batteries, we can help you with that. Make sure the contractor is, has the right quality. They are the right, right people to install solar. And, of course, what is the right financing option for you? So Energy Sage can help you, but if you don't want to use Energy Sage, please, please, please get quotes from at least three to five solar companies. Uh, make sure you're comparing all the, all the right um, factors. So are there rebates or tax credits if you install solar on your homes? Absolutely. There is a 26% federal investment tax credit, uh, which is available to everybody. And in addition to that, uh, there are often local uh, uh, incentives available from your local utility or uh, city or town or state. Uh, we can help you with that, too. Okay, so I just have to ask the question that I bet a lot of people are thinking. Solar panels, obviously awesome when the sun is out, obviously uh, when we have those long daylight hours during some of the summer months. But what about when the daylight hours get shorter and what about at nighttime? Sure. So the way the solar, energy, solar panel systems are designed are to cover your electricity needs throughout the year. So in the summer, yes, you will produce extra. During the day, the, you are sending extra electricity that you're not consuming back to the grid. Your meter is actually running backwards, uh, and it may be powering your neighbor's uh, air conditioner. At night, the meter runs forward. You actually uh, take the electricity back from the grid, and that is what uh, is called net metering. Or increasingly, homeowners are adding a battery to their uh, solar energy system so they can control their own control their uh, consumption and uh, demand. Great information. I wouldn't mind sending the energy company a, a bill every month. It sounds like some great information. <laughs> hey, Vikram Agarwal, the CEO and founder of Energy Sage, thanks for joining us this morning with some great info in case you think about doing solar. Yeah, some great